Hi there, students. Have you ever heard the phrase, to have the upper hand? Okay, one hand and the upper hand, the superior hand. Okay, this means to be controlling or in a position to control either a person or a situation. Okay, this is when somebody or something has power or control over a situation. I don't know, for example, in the basketball match, the blue team clearly had the upper hand. They were controlling the match and it clearly looked like they were going to win it. In the fight between the two boxers, the uh, taller boxer had the upper hand. Or in politics, maybe the ruling party have the upper hand. They control the political scene. Um, he has six brothers and sisters, but clearly of all his siblings, he is the one who has the upper hand. He's the one who says what happens, who controls the relationship between them and controls what is done. Yeah. So, to have the upper hand... Okay, maybe you are more powerful, you are stronger, and like that, you control the situation, okay? So, to have the upper hand, to be in control of, the, of a situation, if you study enough for your English exams, you will have the upper hand on your English. You will be in control. He seemed very tired and emotional. And his emotions seem to have the upper hand. Okay, his reasoning was not in control. His emotions were in control. Okay? So, to have the upper hand, to be in control, to be in power, to be winning, to be the stronger, the strongest force in a given situation. Okay? So anyway, if you enjoyed the video, give it a rating. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.